Scorpio. This is Andrea from Witch and Alchemy, and I am here to do your weekly reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. Just take what applies to you, leave the rest. This is a relationship reading, not necessarily romantic. It could be a relationship between you and another person on any level. Friendship, family, co-worker, boss. Just stick it where it applies. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you would like to follow me on other social media platforms, there is a link in the description for my link tree, which will give you access to all of my other social media platforms, also my Etsy store. I am also offering private readings at this time, so the information for that is there as well. Okay, so the first card that's being pulled will be your energy. The second card is the energy of the person you're dealing with. And the third is the relationship or situation that you're facing. First card we have for you is the Nine of Angels. Okay. There may need to be a conversation that happens with uh, someone. I feel like you don't want to hurt someone's feelings though in this situation. The energy we're getting for your person is the king of angels. So I feel like this person wants to talk too but right now they're kind of just trying to keep the peace. They don't want conflict. For the situation, we have the Three of Hearts, which is happiness together. So if this is a friendship, I feel like there's some things that are not being said to keep the peace. I feel like if a certain conversation was to happen, it may uh, cause some hard feelings also true in any relationship here so right now things are at peace but to me it's kind of like a fake peace so yeah because the under the deck energy is withdrawal so it's kind of like we have something good don't want to mess that up if we talk about this it has the potential to break a friendship, we're in a relationship, so I feel a lot of suppression energy here and just kind of avoidance of a conversation that needs to happen. So this pe person might be pulling away from you and you don't know why, uh, or you may be pulling away from them because it's easier to pull away from them than have this conversation, but we're gonna clarify all that. Okay, let's clarify your energy first. Let's clarify your energy, and this is for Scorpio. Clarify the nine of angels for Scorpio. Ooh, that like, did like three flips. All right, you got the shaman. healing energy using your wis wisdom uh, I think this is uh, put into you know this conversation has to happen but you're trying to trying to tap into your wisdom and figure out how to address this issue because I think this overall is a really good connection and you know i think that this conversation would bring healing but it's kind of a, a hard conversation to have so i think you're trying to find the words and the proper way to address the situation 
The person you're connecting to has the promise card. So I'm getting kind of this might be about a broken promise. But we'll see. Let's clarify the relationship. All right. So for the relationship, we got nurturing. So there's a need to nurture this connection. Like, I really don't think that this connection needs to sever at all. I think that this is definitely something that the new moon is sticking out to me too, which we're coming up on a new moon. We just went through the full moon. Um, I'm getting for some that this person made a promise that they didn't intentionally break. They just couldn't keep it because it wasn't the right time. And the new moon for that specific situation is, is important. But I really think that there needs to be nurturing this connection because I think it's a good connection. So I think that you are trying not to be explosive, right? Scorpios tend to, when they're hurt or they are upset about something, they tend to lash out and, um, you know, they're the Scorpio is a scorpion. So you don't want your words to be stinging. <laughs> All right. And the bottom of the deck is stillness. So that depicts the like, um, energy of just kind of like, I don't think this withdrawal is a bad withdrawal. I think it's a needed withdrawal for reflection and healing. Let's get some advice for this situation. What advice do we have for Scorpio? What advice do we have for Scorpio? Inspire others. Okay, so with the shaman here and this inspire others, uh, I think this person looks up to you in a way to see how you handle situations. It may be a situation where they're waiting for you to make the first move because they are kind of watching to see how you handle it more for a learning um, situation. You do have that healing energy vibe. Okay. And, I, and I feel the energy of like, I don't want to be the one to do it this time, but it's needed because I feel you have a lot of wisdom and you initiating this process will bring healing, not division. I feel like this person you're dealing with may be a little insecure. Okay, so they got feel joy in all you do. Yeah, so I feel like there may be a little bit of depression or anxiety going on there about um, the situation and how to move forward and handle it. So what we got for the relationship advice here. Okay, two came out. We got love is your energy and trust your intuition. That with the nurturing pretty much says um, being still, right? Um, bottom of the deck, we have focus on the positive. So being still, not, um, not making any hasty decisions. You know a conversation has to happen. They have stuff that they need to say about it also. And rather than rushing in and the whole vibe of this really is handling this situation with care because this is a valuable relationship to both of you. 
and there's a way that it can absolutely go in the wrong direction if it's handled incorrectly but there's also a healing aspect with it if it is handled correctly okay so that is what i have for scorpio i appreciate you watching if you can like this video subscribe to my channel and check out my link tree and i hope you enjoyed this video and i will talk to you soon